Roll, roll, roll your blunt full of CBD. And break it down, roll it up, light it up, hit it. No more anxiety. Hey, hey, um, what up, cut ups? Welcome to Smoking Legal. Um, something that doesn't mean a lot to you can mean a lot to someone else, like going right there and hitting that subscribe button. I would appreciate it greatly. Um, I'm sorry, let me introduce myself. I go by the name Taz and I review shit, mainly hemp. And today, today, oh, oh, shout out to my Smoking smoke Legal subscribers. I salute you. Mm. And if you got that notification bell ring, then know the gang, 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 gang. I salute you with both hands. You did. Now, today, we're coming at you with another review from Hemp Worldwide. I think the sticker that they sent me is the coolest thing. I always like those reflective stickers. So, uh, someone in the comments was like, hey, can you tell me the name of the company that you got this from? I literally say the name in the review more than five or six times. And then the name is always in the title of my reviews. I always say such and such flower from Blase Blase Blase. Like the name of this review is going to be whichever strain I choose from Hemp Worldwide. You dig? And then it's in the description as well. So not to shame, comment, shame you, but it's literally there. Okay, but anyway, let's get this box open. Now, it's not package day because I received this package earlier last week and I showed you the opening of the box. I love the little logo. Look how warm that is. Hemp Worldwide. I think I did their Pineapple Blue Genius. Uh, I, have, I still have three strains here. And I'm going to review them all. Now, I got the most suggestions telling me that I should do the orange glaze next, which is what I'm going to do today. Uh, we also have the sour lifter and the cheese from Hemp Worldwide. So between sour lifter and cheese, please let me know down below which ones you want me to review next. Uh, whichever one gets the most comments will be the next review from Hemp Worldwide. Farm Fresh Hemp Flower. I love, I love. Whoever did their boxes, huh, good job. Kudos to you, my friend. Haven't said that word in a while. Kudos. I like it though. Uh, let's get this open. Orange glaze. First things first, this is a quarter and it is coming in at 14.8% CBD. It's organic CBD flour. Whatever that means. Uh, I think that means that they ain't adding nothing to it. It's fresh. It's fresh. No chemicals was used in the growth of this. I just cracked that seal and I can smell it already. Let's see. Orange glaze. Ooh, it's fruity. Citrusy, it is fruity and citrusy. Hemp Worldwide, okay. Oh, oh it is citrusy. It really is citrusy. I mean, it really smells like fresh, like oranges. That's wild. Let's, you know what, let's see what this whole quarter looks like. Let's see what this looks like here. They're big buds, they're big chunky buds. Look at these. They're, oh, I'm gonna lose it. They're big chunky buds, let me just grab one. Here you go. My hands are ashy because I watch them 19,000 times a day because of everything that's going on. And, I'm just not going to continue to put on lotion, wash my hands, put on lotion, wash my hands. Ah, I'm not doing it. So you're going to have to deal with a little bit of Ashy Larry today. Cool. All right. That's, you know what? These, with these buds being so chunky and dense, I think it's only going to take this one bud to feel my blunt. Now, the camera didn't get this. I can't wait for my new phone. It's going to give great detail. Um, 
but it's the light lime green. You got the orange hairs. There's a nice amount of trichomes. Uh, I wouldn't be doing it any justice if I didn't talk about the trim job. This is a great trim job. Look, like there's no sugar leaves on this. This is all bud. And when I break it open, oh, when you break it open, that, that citrus and that pine really comes out. Oh, yeah, it really, really comes out. I mean, just like fresh orange, fresh tangerine. Like if you was to squeeze the orange peel, you can smell it. A little bit of pininess, a little bit of sweet, but the main thing is just citrus. It's sticky, but it's not so sticky that I can't break it down by hand. So I don't even need the grinder for this. <laughs> Get out of my way, grinder. You couldn't see this, but it slowly rolled across the table. Oh, you can probably hear it though. Um, yeah, I don't need the grinder and the smells are really coming out. Now it's not super loud. It's not super, uh, as far as the loud scale, I give it about like six or seven because it's just not, it's just not that loud. But the smell of it, just just the smell of it, it smells very, very good. It smells very inviting. I'm gonna give it like a eight as far as the smell because that citrus, that fruity citrus smell with that pine, I mean, that's literally only thing, that's the only thing that's coming through. Very citrusy, very orangish, and followed by some pine. No complaints. Trust me, I'm not saying it in a bad way at all as far as that that's the only smell that's coming through. I'm just letting you know that's not that loud, funky, uh, dank smell. This smells pleasing, um, appetizing. Uh, a couple more adjectives I could use to describe this smell. Uh, but I'm not that good. Give me some down below. Give me some adjectives I could use to describe fruity smelling strains. Let me get my bucket that I put my guts in that's gonna be wood by the way I have not smoked all day today but today for a Monday for a Monday today was a great day let me tell you why I got off early I'm usually supposed to get off at four o'clock but we finished up our job early shout out to my crew uh, salute we finished the job early and they was like, you know what? If you want, you guys can head out. <laughs> you ain't got to tell me twice. We flew to the dope. But in being in, a, in being in a rush to leave and hurry up and get to my packages because I was ready to smoke, I left the case for my earbuds. So I had one earbud in, one out. And I left the case on the charger at work. So, which also means I left my charger for my phone at work. And I left my earbud case that was on the charger charging at work. So now I have one earbud here at home with me. And that's it. That is it. So that backfired in a way, but I cannot wait to, <sighs> this sounds crazy. This, it, this is about to sound crazy, but I can't wait to go to work tomorrow so I can get my earbud and my charger. This is going to be a true testament of my phone, though. This is going to see. It's about 4 o'clock Nashville time. I don't have to be at work until 7 a.m. So this is going to be a true testament of phone battery to see if I can make it through the night now. It should be a little bit easier because since I'm at home, I'm not using my phone for YouTube or anything like that. But I am going to be using it for Instagram and check my emails and text messages and calls. So, if it lasts a complete night, I'm going to be impressed because right now, I had it on. You know what I just thought about that? I had it on the car charger, so I'm about 80%. I'm at about 80%. So I guess if I really wanted to, I could just go outside and leave it in the car for about an hour and then go back and get it. Now that, that was brilliant. That's what I'm gonna do. 
when I get ready to take my shower, I'm just going to go put my, taking a shower without my phone playing music is just, that's going to hurt my entire heart. But when I take my shower, I'm going to take my phone outside and put it on the charger in the car. That way I know I'll make it through the night. <sighs> Sacrificing my good music during the shower though. Um, anyway, this is the part that makes me feel like a boss. Salute to health, wealth, and self. Self-love is the best love. If you haven't heard the words I love you today, then please, please get to the closest mirror and tell yourself, self, I love you, self. You all right? Because you can't love anyone else or expect anyone else to love you if you don't love yourself. You did. Salute. Orange glaze. You know how that citrus smell I was telling you about, like it was just straight citrus, orange, and piney? I was really expecting that to shine through. It's not though. It's not shining through. I'll give it another couple. It's giving me like a weird funky taste like it's it's as if those oranges were bad it's as if those oranges had sat in the fridge or on top of the fridge right or wherever you keep your fruit at a little too long there's this there's a little bit of a pine taste that wants to come through. But that aftertaste, this, this is not, I don't like it. It's, it's, it has this dry, funky taste that And it has a little bit. It has a little bit of a throat burn, almost. Guys, it's enough for me. Wow. Uh, not a fan of this one at all. Um, you know what? I don't even want to try to think I'm gonna finish this later because I'm not. Um, yeah, it's a no, it's a no for me. Uh, as great as it smelled and as pretty as it looked, the taste I cannot get with it. I don't like that that strange I think there's a TV show called named after how it tastes stranger things I don't like the way it tastes it has a funny taste and I can still taste it has a it even has a weird aftertaste I think I'm, I need something to clear my palate because it even has a weird aftertaste I really thought that the the way it looks it looks good the way it smells oh man it is fruity duty absolutely smelling delicious but the taste is not what's up i can't even get to the part where i tell you about the effects because i'm not gonna be able to finish it so thumbs up for the look smell of it look and smell of it so thumbs down for the taste of it
That's a no. I'm not going to sit here and wear it out because, you know, I believe in keeping it positive or keep it pushing. Keep it positive or keep it pushing. I got two more strains for them that I'm going to try. The Pineapple Blue Genius was absolutely amazing. This orange glaze, useless. Salute.